This is Andy Prowal for ID Boxing. I'm joined by Barry McGuigan here in Bournemouth. Barry, another successful night for yourself, the team, yeah. and of course CBS and Caroline. Yeah. Start off with CBS. Firefight in the end. What did you make of him coming through that stoppage victory, though? Yeah, I mean, spectacular finish. And, and I just said, his fight with Isaac Chamberlain is definitely the fight of the year. And that knockout, that's definitely knockout of the year. I don't think you'll ever see a more dramatic, uh, sickening knockout, but spectacular nonetheless. I, I don't know why he loves to get involved in these tear-ups. My heart was in my mouth for a couple of rounds, but that's just his nature. He's an entertainer. He's exciting. doesn't like guys to push him back. And um, he'll be much more switched on when he's fighting Jay Apataya. Um, please God, we'll get that now in the early summer in the Vitality Stadium. That would be really something special. You had a certain Richard Riakpo here tonight as well. That rematch has been spoken about for a while. Richard wasn't too impressed by what he saw from Chris tonight. Um, do you think we see a rematch between the pair of them next year, whether it be before or after a Jaya Patea fight? To, well, to be quite honest, I don't give a damn what uh, what Richard Riakpo thinks. Um, you know, Chris has won British, Commonwealth and European uh, titles. He it was, that was always a potential banana skin. He got caught and hurt, uh, but his finish was spectacular. And, um, you know, we all thought he won the fight against Riakpur, but he'll certainly win the second one. Uh, but the, the bottom line is, he's not got any titles. He's got nothing for us to be attracted to. So it's a world title fight. That's what we're interested in. That's what we want next. And, and we'll talk about Richard Riakpur after that. Confident we do see that in the summer at the Bournemouth ground? Joy I, 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 I'm, I'm never uh, cocksure, but we, we hope that it can happen. Just away from Chris, obviously saw Caroline return to the ring again. Devastating stoppage victory in that first round. She just keeps getting better and better. She's one of the most exciting female fighters in the world. She's, you know, she's a stunning talent. Um, she's orthodox, converted to a southpaw style. She's a ruthless finisher. She has got no... You know, she's just absolutely ruthless. When she hurts somebody, she just has to get them out of there. You know, she's the, she's can beat most lightweights in the world right now. But we have to, you know, Jake and, and, and Shane have to do a job and batch her correctly. You can't just jump from here to somebody really, really exceptional. So that takes time, And uh, but they're doing a great job with her. But she is such a great talent she's such a you know you we see what she's like like in the gym she's like she beats the crap out of people in the gym it's like spectacular to watch and she's great at fighting on the inside her body shots are just ruthless and she you know when she has somebody hurt she's going to get them out of there that's the way she is and she's great to watch you know five fights now uh, four wins by knockout uh, since she's joined Shane uh, you know she's she's just a special talent and she loves working with her, with Shane and Shane is, and her are just really good and she's he's brilliant at getting the best out of people and you know she is uh, she's going to be very very exciting over the next couple of years to watch I can tell you that just away from Caroline a quick word on her brother Daniel yeah. the WBA ordered him to challenge Alexander Usyk for his WBA and therefore IBF and WBO world titles yeah. Shane said he's happy to throw him in there next with him. A lot of people would kind of disagree with that. Fans, that is because of a Lorraine fight. Would you be happy to see Daniel in there with Alexander and can he beat him? Well, Daniel was hitting top of the head and uh, anybody that's hit on top of the head by a hard puncher like Lorraine uh, will get wobbled and hurt. And he went back, twisted his knee and tore his ACL uh, very badly. So, um, you know, he's out for at least six months but it's it's interesting how suddenly uh, he tours he tears his ACL and then suddenly he's ordered to, to to fight Usyk immediately you know we thought Usyk was fighting Tyson Fury I thought that was what was happening but anyway you know the bottom line is Daniel Dubois when he's ready and he will be ready with his power can knock anybody out any of the top guys Tyson Fury Alexander Usyk uh, Anthony Joshua, any of them. He hits him on the chin, he knocked him out. And let me tell you something, he's getting better all the time. You know, he had to deal with a lot that night. Uh, the most important thing is it was his knee. Uh, you know, how can you fight with 75% of your ACL torn? Uh, and yet he was able to turn it around and show courage. And, uh, um, you know, he, he got through that. And people questioned his courage against Joe Joyce and all that. But he showed that he could do it. He 
but Shane's advice in the corner was fantastic. Just keep it cool, wait for him. And he done a beautiful job, dropped him with that right hand and finished him spectacular. All right, Barry, I know you've got to shoot off because you've got a long drive ahead of you. So I appreciate your time. Enjoy right, this victory. Thank you. Continued success at AD. You're really making progress and uh, yeah, doing a great job.